Alright guys, we're back more small though. We're on season three, episode fourteen. This one is called Obsession. So guys, the last episode with uh Clark and Pete, uh their friendship is in a weird place to be honest. We've seen uh you know Clark walk away from Pete when he was ask asking him if you want to play basketball at the end of the episode. And honestly, I was really surprised that uh Clark responded that way, but he feels hurt that you know, Pete got him in, in this situation or whatever, and he had to do things that he doesn't feel proud of. You know, he had to do it just to get, you know, get his friend out of trouble. I could understand that in his perspective, because, you know, Clark always wants to do the right thing, no matter what he, you know, where he's at or who it is. He always wants to do the right thing. And it, it did hurt him that he actually had to steal from Lex for a little bit. He had to steal his car just to get uh, Pete out of a situation. You know, look, Pete wanted to do his own thing. You know, he had a passion. He thought he was in a good place, but yeah, guy Dante was just a horrible person. He did die in this episode. You know, it just turned bad. It just turned sour real quick. They had to figure out how to get $20,000 and you know, Dante was just freaking, he was a psychopath where he was trying to blow them all up in that car. Luckily, Clark was there to save uh, Pete and they both live. So, so basically, I'm really wondering what these uh, next episodes are going to entail, definitely with uh, Clark and uh, Pete's relationship, basically. Uh, Clark's father, Jonathan, is feeling better, so that's a good thing. So he's back up in his feet, so I'm glad that he's still alive. He's not dead, so that's a good thing. And then with Lana and Adam, I feel like Lana needs to get rid of Adam. That's just my personal opinion, like, just based off what... I, I know he's going through things, but... He, she needs to do something with him, like, honestly, because he's dangerous, in my opinion. I think he's he might become dangerous. It, that's just my opinion from just seeing him, how he's acting. But we'll see how it's going to go uh, through seeing these episodes. Anyway, guys, uh, the sponsor for today from the Patreon page is from Tom. Uh, Tom, thank you for, uh, you know, supporting the channel uh, from, you know, throughout these months. I really appreciate you uh, supporting the channel. And definitely, guys, go check out the Patreon page and consider supporting the channel. I de greatly appreciate it anyone that supports the channel. Anyway guys, let's just check out this next episode for Smallville. Ah, advanced economics. Smallville High's best and brightest. Welcome to Luther Corp. Now, you're all here to learn something about business. The most important element in anything to do with economic theory God, is the individual. All right, then I'll hand you back over to uh, Mr. Sims. All right, group, follow me. Miss Sullivan, Mr. Kent, well, it's nice to see you both looking to the future. This is so awkward, man. <laughs> what do you say we make a break for the fire escape? Who's that? Elevators. Too much demand, not enough supply. What the hell? Burning my hand. Oh no. Oh, now she's seen it. God damn it. What did you just do? Please, don't tell anyone about that. We're working to get you out. Hang on. What? What? She has powers too? What did you just do? You didn't want to get caught, and I wanted to help, so now you know my secret. Just play along. You can't tell anybody. Damn, now his secret's out there with someone else. He doesn't want that. Meteor shower affected my body and allowed me to teleport myself. Yeah, teleport. And anything you touch. And anything I touch, I want to take with me. Oh. oh. Was it meteor exposure too? Yeah. Everything's pretty much connected to the meteor shower, right? Oh well, yeah, he can't tell her where he's from, no. I just can't believe that you're like me. I mean, not exactly like me, but just. Oh, he's, ooh, she's snooping around. Lana, what are you doing? Adam, what is this? It's private. Give it back to me. January 11th. Lana evasive about her relationship with Clark. January 17th. Clark is at the scene of another accident. You've been spying on me. And you've been spying on Clark. Guess you haven't checked tenant laws. It's not that easy to evict someone. Oh, no. Tenant laws. I forgot about that. I'm not going anywhere. Get together. You know, for the contest. Are you asking me out on a date? A date? No. Not that I wouldn't, but, uh... 
Claire, would you like to go out on a date with me? Made it easy. Okay. Look at Clark. Did you just win the lotto? Yeah. What? what? Uh, no, it's just I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. And I want to spoil your mood, but um, I wanted to tell you something about Adam. He's been keeping a journal about me. And you. And I, I don't know if it's because he's jealous or he's just obsessed with us. Or if, if it's more about you. Well, I'll go talk to him. Clark, no, I am gonna have him evicted. I don't think he'll be bothering either of us anymore. See you at seven. Oh! oh, that was awkward. Hey, Lana. Oh! We're in the same econ class. If someone stayed up, I hope they didn't worry. Yeah, my parents are a little overprotective. What about your parents? My parents are great. They worry about me that someone might find out, but they don't try to change me. That's why you're so special. I just want you to know that. I had a really good time tonight. Man, are they gonna kiss the way they look at each other? Uh oh. No. Oh. What? <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. What? That was. You know how awkward that was. <gasps> no. Oh. Alicia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to scare you. I just felt that you didn't want the night to end and. Oh! So. That's why they call it obsession. Oh my god, this is so awkward, man. Coming in, coming in the house. Hey, what'd you do? Fall out of. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what did she do, Clark? Climb out the window? Actually, she teleported out. <clears throat> You're gonna have to run that by me one more time. Was infected by the meteor shower. She can transport herself wherever she wants. Including boys' bedrooms. Look, Alicia saved me. We were trapped in a Luthercorp elevator and, and the cable broke. And I had to stop it. So Alicia saw you use your powers? Oh. Yes. How much? Does she know about you, Clark? Said you had a great time last night. You kissed me. No, um, I did. And I did. Maybe we need to set some boundaries, you know, maybe some limitations. We're special, Clark. People like us don't have boundaries and limitations. We do. No, we do. I'll see you later, sweetie. You must be Clark. Come in, come in. Uh, Alicia's not here right now. I know about Alicia. Her ability. She said that you tried to stop her from using it. How? Kept her in a special room. But she, she begged us to let her out. She promised she wouldn't abuse her power. Just try to go along with her. If you see Alicia, please tell her I'm looking for her. Clark, there was another boy that Alicia liked a lot. Uh, it didn't end well. Be careful. Yep, get her angry. She's gonna use. The, she knows about the meteor rocks. It's gonna be. It's not gonna end well. Shouldn't have said that, Daddy. Hopefully not killing him. What is wrong with her? She's obsessed. Alicia, what's going on? I got your message. My parents said you wanted to see me. Made for each other. You didn't tell Lana your secret. You told me. I need to lock her up. You and I are meant to be together. No. Uh-uh. It's my father. He's at the hospital. No, you beat her. You beat him up. Or did it? something? No, you, she did something. Miss Baker, may I have a word? You look for someone who can disappear in the blink of an eye whenever she wants. 
Right. Well, we know that Alicia has at least one weakness. You. She may have one more. Chloe, I have an idea. I'm gonna need your help. Mrs. Baker? I'm Chloe Sullivan. I need to speak with Alicia, please. It's urgent. Oh, uh, what's wrong? It's her boyfriend, Clark. He's in trouble. What do you mean? Oh, my mother's scared of her. What is it? Sheriff Adams suspects that he may have had something to do with your father's accident. Oh, Alicia. Mother. Alicia? Clark, are you okay? They're after me. The sheriff thinks I tried to kill your father. Quick, someone's coming. Come on. Lead paint? Are you trying to trap me? Like my parents did? I'm the one that's right for you. No, I'm sorry. The police are already on their way. Because I can't teleport out of this room, Clark, doesn't mean that I can't walk out. Crap, and I knew it! Oh, no! We realize we're meant to be together. <laughs> You do. Oh, God. <laughs> Tell me the truth about himself. <laughs> the things that he wouldn't tell you. God damn it. Kick over the paint. Good. The help. Go anywhere. Anna. Clark. Why, Clark? Why? Yeah, lock her up. Hey. Hi. You told her the truth about yourself. Stuff you never told me. What'd she mean by that? You know, Alicia said a lot of crazy things. Anna, hi. It'll never happen. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, thanks, Mrs. Kent, but, um... But I can't. <laughs> well, bye. Lionel, are you serious? Adam, why did I send you to Smallville? Hmm? To become the best friend of Lana Lang. Find out everything she knew about Clark Kent. Wasn't that it? He's so obsessed! And oh! Instead, you have alienated her completely. That son of a bitch. Mr. Luther, his medication is ready. That won't be necessary. Dr. Tang? He needs a serum or he'll die. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've already made my decision. This patient is no longer a participant in our research program. No. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Nope. No! No! Working for no. Lionel. Help me! Help me! Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. I am I'm not surprised it's Lionel, but at the same time I am. It's like I wasn't expecting Adam to work with Lionel. That's pretty much what I'm surprised about. Like, I just can't believe how obsessed he is on trying to figure out Clark Kent. He's trying to figure out him out. He's trying he's trying to get his secret too. That's why he had Adam to go, you know, to Lana's, live over there, and find out more about Clark Kent, even though he's looking in the wrong place. He's never gonna find anything out with Clark Kent through Lana. He's looking entirely in the wrong place man Lionel was cold i mean seriously he left them there right there to die 
and we're not going to see Adam again. I don't think so. He's going to die there. Because I don't know if Lex Luthor knows as well. I think he does. But that's just unbelievable. Honestly, I just can't believe what I saw there. Uh, Alicia was obsessed. I felt like she needed to be locked up. She was, she made my skin crawl. I was like uncomfortable. And this could be what anyone, I think anyone would, be, would feel uncomfortable with that. Like she's coming, you know, coming to Clark's house in her bed, you know, in his bed. You don't even know she was there and, oh lord, it was really, really uncomfortable. But Clark did manage to uh, save Lana once again. And of course, uh, Clark is not going to tell his secret to Lana. We all know this. It's never going to happen. Honestly, I wish he would just at least tell her as a friend. Even though he he technically loves her. Of course, they, you know, Martha and her, you know, him talk about it, he, if he's going to ever find the right person. We already know the right person is uh, Lois. We all know that. But we got to see how he's going to meet Lois at some point in these uh, episodes. This was a really good episode. I cannot wait to see his next one and see what's going to happen. Definitely, man, Lionel is freaking cold. He's sneaky. He's always trying to be, you know, 10 steps ahead. I can't wait to see more of him. Definitely see, you know, what else he knows and what else he wants to do to try to get uh, Clark's uh, secret or find out more about him. But yeah, anyway, guys, uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you just go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. Also, consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Smallville.